Welcome to GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumoi. It is often said that knowledge is power. Hmm. And one of the most sought out things today is power. Of course, and that's why the GCK King Circle will teach and expose you to premium knowledge that will elevate and also make you powerful. Welcome to another enriching time at the GCK King Circle, a place where kings, queens, princes and princesses are nurtured, nested and knitted for royalty. I am Charles Otomi and with me is Esther Owoda. We are so delighted to have you join us again at the GCK King Circle. Welcome. You see, committing yourself to learning is one of the most surest way to growth. We've always heard that the day you stop learning, that day you start dying. And of course, no one wants to die before his or her time. Definitely. So today we bring to you someone very special, a mentor, one who has to taught thousands of young people to reach the height of greatness with his teachings. And today he will be talking to us. I bet you don't want to miss this. Dr. W.F. Kumoi isn't your average preacher. This renowned mathematician received a calling to different kind of passion, a passion for spreading the faith. His powerful messages resonate with students and young adults, urging them towards excellence in both faith and academics and equipping them with tools to become the future change makers. Dr. Kumui isn't just a preacher, he's an advocate for a generation on the rise. But before it comes up, let's listen to this music piece. Oh, and holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. Thank you for what you're doing in this place tonight. We glorify you. We magnify you and we lift you up. In your mighty name, amen. Knowledge, learning, it's a process. Learning is essential for life. We'll listen to Dr. Kumui as he exposes more to us. Knowing Jesus and experiencing him in life. Knowing him, what he has decided to accomplish in your life and experiencing him. You know, there are things we know, but we don't experience. I know that three plus four is seven, but there's no way I can taste that. I can feel that. I can experience that. There are many things we know that we cannot experience, but when we know him, our savior, when we know him, our redeemer, when we know him, the lifter up of our head, we know him and we experience him in life. In the morning, he's there with us. Afternoon, is there with us. Evening, is there with us. Knowing Jesus and experiencing him in life. Matthew chapter 16, verse 15, he said unto them, but... Whom say ye that I am? He said, I know you've been following me. I know you will be in the boat together. I know that you'll see me heal the sea. You've seen me raising up lives, changing lives, transforming lives. But now, I want to know, have you experienced me? Whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou at the Christ. I feel that. I sense that. I've tasted that. And I've known how you've solved the problems of my life. What I know that I know in my heart, in my soul, in my mind. I know that I know. 
when you know him he tells you blessed art thou when you call him by his name he says blessed art thou you wake up in the morning or you're going in the way or you are uh, we are taking an exam anywhere you are you just says it's with me here and when you say that and you say that he says blessed art thou he will support you he will lead you he will lift you up. Jesus Christ is always there. If there's any hurdle, if there's any difficulty, if there's any challenge, you say, Lord Jesus, clear the way for me. Your way will be clear every time. Your life will take a new sparkling. Your life will shine. You know, some special students, they get double promotion. I was say, you know, one student girl when i was a teacher in a high school she got triple promotion and you are ready for promotion i am ready for promotion it will promote you it will take you from where you are now to where you ought to be. He will not lead you astray. He will lead you to the right spot. He knows the plan of God for you from all eternity. And he knows the path to get there. And he says, just follow me. I'll lead you there. You follow me now. You follow me always. And you follow me at all times in all things. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. And he says unto them, follow me and I will make you. Now, Peter happened to be a fisherman. And so, what the Lord has called him for, he used the language he will understand. And he said, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men. Follow me and I will make you. The destiny, the thing, the man, the woman, you ought to be. All you need to do, follow me and I will make you. He will make you. You see, what am I supposed to do? He put that dream in your heart already. Look at Joseph. Follow me. I'll make you fulfill the dream. And look at Joshua. As Joshua was following, he called him to be another person. And follow me and I will make you. Are you supposed to be a captain? Are you supposed to be a doctor? Supposed to be an engineer? Are you supposed to be a farmer? Are you supposed to be a gardener? Are you supposed to be a person having chains of restaurants? Are you supposed to be a political person? He says, I know why you are created. I know why you are here. Follow me and I will make you first class, first rate professional in Jesus' name activation the lord by spirit by his power will activate everything you need to get you to the sky we used to say the sky is the limit now a new principle today the sky is your starting point it's of that hand Father, in Jesus' name, we're asking, Lord, that today you will take everyone, every sister, every brother, every boy, every girl, every young adult, man or woman, and I pray every seed that tied us down in the past, break, cut, everything away in jesus name release everyone to dream bigger to go higher and to achieve greater in jesus name confirm your power your miracle your signs and wonders success in everyone in jesus name well you heard it from your horse's mouth learn something today Get a pen, pick up a book, write that goal, write that statement, begin to read and learn something new. Put into actions all you've learned is what differentiates you from someone who just learned and someone who is really intentional. You're correct. So be intentional today. Till we come your way again, be, be a world changer, changer for Christ. for Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui 
We'll love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.